If an employee or a care team member doesn't stay in your organization for more than a year, that's a problem. Hey, I want to talk to you about something that's really important to your entire career as a leader in an organization. It's something that you can have an impact on and that you can control, but many leaders have no focus on this particular thing. And I'm going to tell you what it is, and it's your turnover rate. Yes, that's right, your turnover rate. Now, your turnover rate is the percentage of people who came to your organization to work but they leave in a certain period of time, within a certain time frame. So some people may use the turnover rate as an as a annual metric. So how many people did you hire this year who quit before the year was up? And so if an employee or a care team member doesn't stay in your organization for more than a year, that's a problem. If you have people who you hired who quit within two or three years, that is also a problem. The reason why it's a problem because turnovers are costly. What do I mean costly? Just think about how much time it took you to hire someone, to go through the interview process to find the right person. You hire them, you get them into orientation, and they have to go through orientation and training for six or eight weeks before you can put them in a position to do their jobs, and then they stay only another nine months and then they quit. And you gotta do it all over again. Turnover rate is incredibly costly for an organization. As a matter of fact, any organization that is rated low on Glassdoor or best places to work, any organization that doesn't make any good lists is because they got high turnover rates because people come there to work, but then they quit in a short period of time. You don't want that to be your organization or anybody that falls under your leadership. So you got to do a better job of focusing on the turnover rate you got to lower your turnover rate. And here are a couple things you can do to lower your turnover rate. The first thing you can do is you got to hire better. And what do I mean hire better? you got to be slow to hire and quick to fire. Slow to hire means to take your time, find the right person who has the right skills, assets, tools, and the insights that can add value to what you're doing. And then when you hire them, you got to make sure you train them right because one of the reasons that employees get frustrated and they quit is because they weren't equipped with the tools, information, and the resources to be successful, that they're having to figure it out on their own, or they're being trained by a coworker who just started two weeks before them. So you got to invest in your training and development process to make sure you onboard and orient employees into the organization's culture in the right way so they can be productive. A second thing you can do as a part of the whole hiring and training process is you got to make sure that they're a good fit for your culture or that they add to your culture. Now, when I say good fit, I'm not necessarily talking about like a pair of jeans or a pair of shoes. I'm saying is this person should be adding something that you don't currently have in your organization or that you need more of in your organization. So that diversity of experience and perspective is going to add value to make your culture more rich so you can make a bigger difference in the people that you serve. So that's what I mean. You got to focus on your culture. Your culture is an important part of making sure that you got a low turnover rate. So low turnover rate is everything to any organization. And if you don't have a low turnover rate, you're going to have problems. And those problems are going to lead to you no longer being the leader. So I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe if this makes a difference for you. And if it added value to people, please use it. Take care.